In this video, we're going to look at the Starfish Friends mind map. Now, this mind map will promote learners to learn how to compare two topics or two elements. Now, this mind map is going to be made up of two starfish. And the starfish will be touching and then some of their arms will be separate from one another. Now, we always start off with the keyword and the topic. And on the starfish on the left, that's where you'll place your keyword or topic one. And the starfish on your right is where you're going to place your keyword or topic two. Now, these are the two topics that you are going to be asking learners to compare. And when you ask learners to compare, there are two things that they're looking for. They're looking for similarities. How are these two topics the same or similar? And that will be placed in the arms that are touching each other so that they share the same similarities, the same characteristic. And then the second element that you want from learners is you want them to be able to find the differences, to point out how is topic one different from topic two. Now, let's take a look at how this will be drawn in your books or for the learners. Again, it's two starfish and where there are similarities, the arms join, and where they are different, the arms go their different ways. Now, if there are more than two similarities, that's fine. Again, you just add in a new arm between the two. Let's take a look at it, a practical example. You could ask your learners to compare Britain before and after the Industrial Revolution. So topic one would be describing Britain before the Industrial Revolution and topic two is to describe Britain after the Industrial Revolution. Now remember, where the arms are touching, those will be the similarities. So what characteristics are the same? So there possibly could be terrible living conditions. Before the Industrial Revolution began, there were people living in really poor, terrible living conditions. And even though the Industrial Revolution did bring wealth and prosperity to, to some Britons, there were still many people living in packed housing with poor sanitation or terrible living conditions. Another characteristic could be that the entire family having to work, whether they were on the farm before the Industrial Revolution, the boys and little girls were all encouraged to help out on the farm, so the entire family had to work. And in the Industrial Revolution or after the Industrial Revolution, families in Britain still had to, whether it was in a factory, they still had to work. Kids, and especially girls, were not sent to school. Now remember, when you are comparing, there are two things that the learners need to do. They need to find the similarities, which they have put in the middle arms. And now they need to write out what is different. How is Britain different from before and after the Industrial Revolution? And here are some examples. So possibly before the Industrial Revolution, it, travel was limited. While after the Industrial Revolution, with all the new developments and technological advances and the steam train, travel was more accessible. There were small towns before the Industrial Revolution, and now there are cities because of urbanization. Before the Industrial Revolution, families relied on farming. The economy relied on farming. That was what sustained Britain. And then after the Industrial Revolution, farming shrunk because factories developed and mass production developed. So I hope you can clearly see now how these mind maps are a wonderful tool it has guided learners to find similarities and it shows you that these characteristics are the same. That is what a similarity means. And it also has helped learners and pushed them to find three differences in Britain. How is Britain different from before the Industrial Revolution and after the Industrial Revolution? And lastly, and this will be brought up after every single mind map, learners need to be reminded about referencing. Where did they get their source of information? And this can be a word um, on the back or the background of the mind map. It can be scribbled underneath the mind map. If you would prefer more formal referencing, that also is absolutely fine, whatever your school policy is. But it is essential that we are constantly reminding our learners about referencing.